when you're five years old, you think there are no constraints. And that's why little kids are not good economists. For adults, there are constraints and therefore economics has something to say about it. So economics is the study of the allocation of scarce resources and why people make the choices about scarce resources that they make. Resources broadly put from land to, to uh, natural resources to people's time to people's affection to people's uh, uh, mental capacities. I like to think of economics as more of a way of understanding the world and understanding how you know, anyone from a single person to an entire nation makes decisions that will affect their future. You decide whether or not you want to live on campus or off campus. There are different costs involved be more or less expensive to do one or the other. There are other things which we can think of as costs. How much time will you spend on the bus versus being able to jump out of bed at the last minute and make it to class? That's an economics decision. Well, my favorite example is choosing a life partner. You're taught from early age, wait for Mr. Wright, find the dream girl. It's bad advice because there are search costs. Finding Mr. Right takes effort. You have to buy clothing, you have to waste time. If you're a guy, you know, you have to be presentable. You can't party with your friends. That's an opportunity cost. So the rational thing to do is not to search for Mr. Right, but to search for Mr. Pretty Good. Not to search for the, your dream girl, but to search for your daydream girl. One of the areas that I find interesting involves behavioral decisions that individuals make that influence their health. For instance, smoking. Why do individuals decide to start smoking? If they do smoke, how much do they smoke? And if they decide to quit, why do they decide to quit? A lot of people would say a decision about whether or not to smoke and how much to smoke shouldn't involve economics at all. And in fact, before taxing cigarettes was very commonplace, a lot of politicians would just conjecture that if we tax cigarettes, it's not going to influence behavior because smokers are addicted. So this is not a rational behavior, so why are we even discussing how price might influence what someone who's smoking decides to do? And it turns out that economists were able to show that yes, smoking does respond to changes in price, in particular changes in price that come about through tax increases taxing cigarettes became a much more common policy tool uh, across a lot of states for basically trying to better the health of uh, those different communities. There's really no stopping what economics can look at if you think about it at the end of the day. Knowing something about economics is quite useful because, quite frankly, you're going to be confronted with it every day, from your individual home life to reading the newspaper to being an informed citizen about uh, a whole range of issues. Taking a couple of economics courses does influence how you think about the way that you're making decisions in everyday life, and you'll forever be changed for the better, we hope.